good evening students wait for some time i couldn't share that uh, screen Bhaskar is on the way. Huh? Wait.
So shall we start? Could you say that PPT? Could you say, Ma? Yes, sir. Okay. So, question number one. An aqueous solution of one molar Ka, which change will cause the vapor pressure of solution is increase or decrease? What is your uh, answer? Will increase or decrease? An aqua solution of one molar Ka is there. You tell me. So you have the K solution. So you have one molar K solution. So the vapor pressure of the solution to increase. You have to increase. So what is that? Vapor pressure delta P is directly proportional to the molality of the solution. So, molality of the solution decrease with dilution. Okay, so when you are adding water, it will decrease the, uh, when you are adding water to the K, it will change the vapor pressure of the solution to increase. Okay. And the next question. The resting of iron pipe is exposed to atmosphere. The following reaction. Iron will take place o iron plus O2 with you, Fe2O3. This is an example for maybe spontaneous or non-spontaneous depending on the condition. It's a spontaneous, non-spontaneous. Which one more? Neither spontaneous nor spontaneous. Which one? It's a redox reaction, you know very well. It's a spontaneous or non-spontaneous. Are you able to hear my voice? Non-spontaneous. Why it's non-spontaneous? It is a spontaneous reaction because your resting of iron takes place. With decrease in the free energy. And one more thing, the Fe could be changed into Fe3 plus, plus three electron. So E0 redox value, it will be positive. That is the reason why it is a spontaneous reaction. And then, unit of a rate constant of a zero order reaction. So please remember <coughs> for all kind of uh, reactions, you should remember this one general formula. When you have nth order reaction, 
when you have nth order reaction so rate of nth order reaction will be One by so n order reaction rate of n order reaction n minus one kt is equal to one by the concentration of a into power n minus one. <coughs> And then one by <coughs> a zero power n minus one. Okay, this will be the rate. For this, when you are writing <coughs> unit for that nth order reaction, mole per liter power one minus n. Okay, into Time power second. If it is second, I mean maximum second, or you can have minim, uh, minutes or hours that you can decide. So now, what is the order? Zero. Zero means one minus zero, it becomes zero. Apo for the zero order, mole per liter and per second. So what is the answer? Which is the option? Yes. So mole per liter per second. And then next one. In which of the following jump is noticed in fourth ionization energy? Where? the rate of rates equal to k into a power n therefore k is equal to 1 by t into n minus 1 into 1 by a minus x power n minus 1 minus 1 by a power n minus 1 other a a 0 okay wow. so the unit will become mole power 1 minus n, liter power n minus 1, and time power minus 1. So this will be the rate. Okay. And then, in which of the following, the jump is noted for the fourth ionization energy. So what is that? You have to convert metal into metal 4 plus plus 4 electron, right? So when you are considering magnesium, it will consider Mg2 plus, then it attain the noble gas configuration. Carbon C4 plus, <coughs> aluminium Al3 plus, and phosphorus, it become, what is that? 3 plus or P 5 plus. But uh, the removal of electron become difficult in the case of phosphorus because it is off field configuration. Okay. And the carbon you have 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. So you can add the electron, but uh, you cannot remove that electron that much easily. When you are having aluminium, it becomes 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. So you can uh, remove the three electron easily. The fourth electron become very difficult. Here you can remove the four electron. The uh, M Mg become 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. Right? So you can remove the two electron. But uh, what is uh, they ask? You jump fourth ionization energy. So when you are considering that aluminum having the considerable change next consider the following complex ion the cor correct order of stabilization energy so when you are coming to the complex uh, 
uh, stabilization energy is based on the ligand means you remember the spectrochemical series what is spectrochemical series What is spectrochemical series? <coughs> what is spectrochemical series? Spectrochemical series na na. So, what is spectrochemical series, ma? Are you there? Sir, arrangement of ligands based on this. Arrangement of ligands, very good. So, the arrangement arrangement of ligands in the order of increasing field strength is known as spectrochemical series so I minus Br minus S2 minus SCN minus Cl minus F minus OH minus C2O42 minus H2O NCS minus NH3 <coughs> ethylene diamine. NO2 minus CN minus and then carbon monoxide. Now we see chloride, water, ammonia, cyanide. So among that, cyanide will have the more. So S should be the highest one. And then ammonia, water, chlorine. And then cyanide, ammonia. So what is R? Then water, Q, then P. So So what is the option? Which one is the option? So P, S should be high. Yes or Q, P. This is the correct answer. This is the correct answer. D, sir. Which becomes B. And the next one. Arrange the following in the decreasing order of SN2 reaction. So, when you are considering SN2 reaction, SN2 reaction rate is corresponding to substrate <coughs> and then nucleophile. Okay, the steric <coughs> it's a second order reaction. So when you are having substrate primary or methyl. So what happened?
so according to sn2 reaction the rate is <coughs> directly proportional to substrate and nucleophile and then it's a second order reaction so the stereochemistry of the reaction is when your product you are getting so inversion will be the otherwise the back side attack will take place <coughs> and then the nucleophile will attack the back side means so the substrate should be when you have the substrate which will be when you have methyl chloride will foster rate then primary and then secondary and then tertiary so steric effect decreases the rate of sn2 so so the polar a protic solvent increases the rate so strong nucleophile favors sn2 reaction okay so now if you are looking the leaving group is chloride 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 all the case it become chloride because other than that nothing is the leaving group. <laughs> so we have to look at the substrate so if it is the uh, methyl group it will go faster right then primary then secondary so it retard the tertiary so when it coming the tertiary it won't go methyl primary secondary so according to that when you are coming this will be the primary this will be the secondary this will be the primary and this will be the primary correct so we have p or s will be the primary p or s will be the primary so when you are coming so it will be the secondary now what is the difference between p or and s so for the p there is no substrate around that chloride whereas here you have one bulky methyl group here you have two bulky methyl group so the p will go faster rate than r when you are having r it has so one side only methyl group is there so it is possible it possible to go the <coughs> reaction then it become q then it become s yes. you may ask sir p r s q thane varano no since here two methyl group it has ended so the back side attack is uh, possible it is very less uh, yes so here only one methyl group you have the chlorine in the rendu place on the mtr whereas inge parunga rendu place me sterically ended a irukiradanaala so this will go which is the answer sir hmm Yes. Sir, why is P Q R S wrong, sir? Ah, uh, enama? P Q R S, why is it wrong, sir? P Q R S. So when you are take A, yeah, here here R is there. Back side will attack only. This side free no. So here free means the reaction will take place. What I said in the stereochemistry of reaction is the inversion. So the back side attack. When it is into reaction. when you are have the substrate like this when you are having the leaving group means it will attack over here then leaving group over, over like this okay so according yes. to that it will become free when you are consider the q it has a secondary so here one methyl group here one phenyl group in between only you have the chlorine so methyl primary secondary so the primary will go faster right because here there is no steric entrance inge varumbod pathina இங்க இருக்கிற ஹைட்ரஜன் இங்க இருக்கிற ஹைட்ரஜன்ஸ் ஸ்டெரிக்லி இன்ட்ரோடர்
compare to this adanalu dhan the r will be coming to the second so first primary halide paakumbo p r s idha order la varanum but r vida s s varave varadhu yen varadhuna since it is a two methyl group it will be sterically crowded because of the sterical crowded or ortho effect so it will not undergo faster rate s and reaction that's why p r q s then option a is the right answer okay uh, ah yes. sir ah yes sir but uh, q is uh, secondary only no sir so first we recount primary right yes ma we have to count the primary no problem but the primary ipa parunga you look this substrate here methyl is there hydrogen is there hydrogen is there hydrogen is there here methyl hydrogen 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 then you have C- cl okay the same now i will add two right innona ipo enna q eduthukringa ஒருத்தான் <laughs> so steric intrinsic will take place purida could you understand yes, sir. so that is sir. the reason why that is the reason why even though you are having the primary halide but that the benzene ring which will be sterically hindered the steric that's why i mentioned steric effect decrease the rate of sn2 reaction okay uh, sir hmm yes sir okay this i understood but in q instead of methyl group uh, mm. if there was a ethyl group then q mm. would have come uh, first like last or then s right mm. yes because it's hydrogen only no but uh, when you are having ethyl group uh, ch2 cl now also sterically hindered ma because here you you have free no ma'am uh, no sir s la there is methyl only but in uh, q instead of that uh, methyl substitute there is an ethyl substitute in that clear yeah. ah yes sir ch2 ch3 a irundadna appo unakku q da adhu indudna s dana start le first varum illa illa q q only will come because ch2 ch3 nu varumbodhu look here inga cl ch2 ch3 correct this is what you are asking no yes sir yes sir so now here hydrogen hydrogen only this is the reaction site okay when you are increasing the group in this side no problem so around this site only the steric interaction should be less for example if the two methyl groups are in the meta position means no problem the q s will come first okay okay sir so if if we are increasing the branching on this 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 it will not it won't affect us. okay yes sir understood sir oh, that's it and then seventh question what is the seventh question uh, the decreasing order of stability of the following anions so inga parunga ellame ch2 cn da ch2 minus da now the para position you have nitro cyano methyl nothing okay now you have to arrange which is the stronger one so no2 is there among this no2 and cn are electron withdrawing groups these are electron releasing group correct so when it electron releasing means so when it is electron withdrawing we'll see ch2 minus and n 
double bond O, single bond O minus N plus. Like this, it would be. So it come like this, it go like this, it come like this, and then it involve. So when the methyl group is there means through hyperconjugation, it will go there. There go. Okay, wow. So when you have the electron withdrawing group, it will increase the inganagde. It will withdraw that, so it increases stability. Look here, like this, through the resonance, it will increase the stability. So, P will have that more stability than Q, then S, then R. Because there is no effect. When you are R, it decreases the stability of the cation. Uh, it will have only the positive value. Here you have the two negative value. Here you have one positive value. So anion stability will be decreased. So this will be the order. P, Q, S, R. So the uh, Sir, mm -hmm. yes. sir, can you explain the resonating structure for R structure again? Mm. So you have the methyl group, correct? CH2 yes. minus here you have CH3. Then you have benzene. So we know that the methyl groups are electron donating plus I groups. Okay. It it uh, donate electron through the inductive effect through sigma bond if it is present in the sigma bond. Here we don't have the sigma bond, right? Inside the benzene ring, you have only pi bonds, right? Yes, sir. You have only pi bonds. But it stabilizes through the hyperconjugation. Well, what is hyperconjugation? So sp3 hybridized hydrogen conjugate with the carbon carbon double bond it is a no bond resonance but it involved in the conjugation how it will involve conjugation so we have three hydrogen right methyl three hydrogen then ch2 minus so this hydrogen will involve the conjugation. It go like this and then it go like this. So look here, oh, sorry. When you are going here, you are having negative charge, negative charge. So when you have the negative charge over like this means double bond CH2 and H plus So negatively charged with the negatively charged CH2 minus. So two negative charge on the adjacent carbon, it decreases the stability. Okay. I'm sorry, in a positive and I complete this. They're not, uh, this is the resonance structure. This resonance structure. Sir, That's why, oh, yes. Sir, so uh, till that only resonate, only three resonating structures are there. Are the no, these, these two only. 
when it go over no. here to ah, here that to only that negative sign will not go further uh, to the right side uh. no ma if you are the two negative signs on the adjacent carbon it is not stable two positive on the adjacent carbon it is not stable it will repel no like charges repel same way at the this here you have the more electron density here you have the more electron density how the molecule can exist that's why it least stable here you have the conjugation okay extension ah, yes of, sir understood sir here you have extension of conjugation there is no conjugation that's why the s yes getting before than the q okay yes sir so iodo form test is not given by simple what is iodo form when the group if your group having c double bond o ch3 or chooh ch3 Treat, treating iodine with a sodium hydroxide it gives ch i3 plus coo minus or coo na here you have r or or so it should have the group like this or it should have the group like this then it will give the yellow color precipitate this is called iodoform write the formula for ethanol ch3 ch2oh pentane 21 ch3 ch2 ch2 co ch3 so what is ethanol acetaldehyde ch3 cho what is pentane 31 ch3 ch2 co ch2 ch3 now you tell me what are the group which is having this structure so this will have the structure either pragaro irukku so this will have the group like this so it also will give this is also have the group like this so in the ch3 c double bond o h so you have the group like this that's why it will give iodo form here you have the group in the middle that's why it won't give so answer is pentane 31 okay clear Yes, sir. Is it clear? <coughs> okay. And the next question: Glycosidic linkage is an amide linkage, ether linkage, ester linkage, and amide linkage. One na amine linkage, and one na amide linkage. So, what is the linkage? What is the linkage? sugar eduthukringa sugar na enna adu sucrose sucrose la enna na part irukum sucrose hydrolyze panna enna na part irukum alpha d glucose and beta d fructose enna enna Correct, ma. So, alpha D glucose and beta D fructose. Alpha D glucose and beta D fructose. So it will be positive value. It will be negative value. So when you have the sucrose, it will the invert. So inversion of sugar can be taken. Correct. When the alpha D glucose and beta D glucose are connected through what? The answer is right. Alpha D glucose, beta D fructose. When you take that, is on the glucose then fructose
so it was connected with oxygen atom so this linkage is called glycosidic linkage so this is called glycosidic linkage so according to that it is a ether linkage okay so this is what they have asked us and then the energy favors dissolution of solute water is known as when you are adding water it become what energy it's a hydration that's all then the next one so for the redox reaction zinc will uh, react with copper 2 plus it becomes zinc 2 plus and copper taking place the e0 cell is 1.1 and e cell for the reaction should be what so how you can connect so 1.0 sir 1.07 point... so now it would be because e cell is equal to e0 cell plus 0.0591 by n log of in our room in our room in our room sir numerator z zn plus denominator copper wrong mom numerator on the Denominator is at ten two plus. Inge Cu two plus. So Cu two plus angra the na. Oxidate, oxidate or reductant. Oxidant or reductant. Reduction, sir. So reductant divided by oxidant. Correct ah. So Cu two plus divided by Z ten two plus. Sir, when you are substituting, one point one zero. Sir, the numerator should be uh, anode, right? The equation. Sir, uh, sir, but numerator uh, should be anode and uh, denominator. Yes, yes, yes. yes ma. Sir, uh, numerator should be anode, right? So here anode is zinc, right? Is it and converted to is it and two plus Cu? So here gain of electron reduction, loss of electron oxidation. So it will be anode. It will be cathode. Mm. Yes. Numerator is zinc. Numerator is. Yes. Yes. Anode by cathode ray. No ma, that E cell is equal to E zero. Cell on the equation, Pragaro. Yes, sir. The log of a uh, numerator should be anode, right? Just a minute, I will bring book. I'll see. Oh, Nitish. Ah, uh, Ezra. Yeah, the equation of minus for all, la. Minus zero point zero five nine by n. Ah, ah, minus for all, la. Character, ah, that. E zero 
see in the formula i have changed the plus symbol have you seen ah uh, yes sir maybe because of that okay that's why i have changed it to plus symbol so the cathode i have written in the top and then anode in the bottom in the, in the numerator and denominator okay yes sir, yes, sir. understood sir so, so generally you will write the e cells equal to e0 cell minus 0.0591 by n log anode correct divided by cathode this is what you will write right yes sir yes but sir. i have changed the minus symbol into plus that's why okay so log of copper 2 plus means copper 2 plus is 0.1 molar divided by 1 so 0.1 by 1 become 1.10 sorry One point one zero plus zero point zero five nine one divided by two log ten log ten value become one. So when we are dividing by two zero point zero two four s. Yes. Sir, uh, if we put minus sign only log ten will come. Sir, if if we put plus sign then it's log of zero point one. Okay, ma. Then you have to find out what is the difference is there. 10 power minus 1 you will get okay that minus 1 will come and it change it to plus is it correct sir okay, minus yeah. will remain no sir no ma sir, 1 uh, by 0.1 as your uh, suggestion i will tell you wait so 1 by 0.1 become 10 sir not 1 by 0.1 sir 0.1 only ah uh, sorry sir it will be 1 by 10 right So log of one minus log of ten. Okay, you put log of one by ten. How you'll write log one minus log ten? Correct. Ah. Uh. So log one becomes zero. Minus log ten becomes minus one. Ah, so uh, sir. So an equation plus zero was there. Minus will come. Two nine. Uh, wait, wait. Two nine five into minus one. So then, what will get? It become plus no. Sir, no, sir. According to your equation, which you wrote in uh, like e not cell plus zero point zero one, then log of one by ten will come. So that minus yes. will come here instead of plus. So yes. minus here, will come. Here, uh, here you have to have the minus. Correct, correct. Ah, correct. yes, sir. Correct, correct. So one point one zero. When you are subtracting one point one zero minus. Zero point zero three two nine no so one point zero seven so this is the answer okay okay yes sir so next question in the first order reaction A gives the product K is the rate constant and the initial concentration of reaction is point five molar then half life period would be so what is the reaction half life period reaction T of is equal to zero point six nine three by K So this is the uh, equation. How you arrange this equation? So what they given? A gives product. K is the rate constant, and the initial concentration of reactant is 0.5. And the what is the half life period? Then sir, ln two is 0.693. So option B. Option D. Correct. Because how much? So the k is equal to two point three nine three log two by k T of. Okay. So what they say is rate of rate constant initial concentration they are given point five molar. So then half life period would be log two by k. That is all. Because T of is equal to Two point three nine three into point three zero one zero divided by k. That would be point nine three by k. So point nine three divided by log two by k. Log two by k. That is our good. Okay. And the next question. 
arrange the following compound in the increasing order of rate of reaction towards nucleophilic substitution so nucleophilic substitution means when you have the aromatic nucleophilic substitution when you have the aromatic group with the x so another n u minus nucleophile going to attack over here okay when the nucleophile attacking means what are the group it should have so the presence of electron releasing group at ortho position decreases so in the position la ena in the position la vandha da modalik attack aagum appo inge irukra group inge vandu eliminate aagum so it should be free in the case la paakumbodhu first la free a irukku correct ah first la rendu pakkama free a irukku appo kadasiya one edho varudho adha answer it would be b or c and then among the two second and third so third will have no connection with the cl because cl is the ortho para directing ch3 also ortho para directing so it will be free so this will be first this will be second and this will be third so what is the answer 1 3 2 so it would be the answer so what is the factor this will be so due to the presence of plus i group or otherwise electron releasing group at ortho position decreases the nucleophilic substitution that's all and then the order of solubility so you can say very easily what is the order of solubility this is alcohol this is alcohol this is alcohol this is ether so these two will form the hydrogen bond then uh, methyl ore or methyl group iruk illa ch3 ch2 iruk adanalu 2 will be more then 3 then 1 टू Titanium twenty two, argon three D two, four S two. Then copper is twenty nine, argon three D ten, four S one. Okay, so when it become scandium three plus, it become argon. It become titanium four plus, it become argon. then it become copper plus then argon 3d10 and copper 2 plus argon 3d9 so 3d9 means 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so one unpaired electron so what is the answer what is the answer A, B, C, D. Let us answer. Give me a ring. No electron. All mm. complete. Bit. D would be the answer. And then, which of the following compound is most reactive towards nucleophilic addition reaction? So, in all the case, you have the carbonyl groups. Okay. Carbonyl groups. so these two are aldehyde and these two are ketones so aldehyde undergo faster rate than the ketone for the nucleophilic addition reaction because inside one methyl group da irukku in the side hydrogen irukku so steric hindrance less a irukradanal reaction will be faster so when you have ali if aldehyde la aliphatic aldehyde aromatic aldehyde irukku 
ஸோ அலிஃபாட்டிக் அரோமேட்டிக் வரும்போது அரோமேட்டிக் வந்து ரெசனன்ஸ் இன்வால்வ் ஆகிடும் அலிஃபாட்டிக் வரும்போது அந்த ரெசனன்ஸ் ப்ராப்ளம் இருக்காது ஸோ அது அலோ அலிஃபாட்டிக் இல்லாண்டோ பாஸ்டர் தி அரோமேட்டிக் ஸோ வாட் வாட் யூ வில் கே So what is the answer? A, B, C, D. Option A, sir. Is the answer correct? And then, which of the following statement are correct about the complex? So you have CO, NH3, 4, CL, NO2, CL. Uh, what is the oxidation state of the com- complex? CL, NO2, ஒரு சிஎல் போயிடுதுன்னா இட் பிகம் பிளஸ் சிஎல் மைனஸ் ஸோ எக்ஸ் பிளஸ் ஜீரோ மைனஸ் ஒன் மைனஸ் ஒன் பிகம் பிளஸ் ஒன் ஸோ எக்ஸ் மைனஸ் டூ பிகம் பிளஸ் ஒன் எக்ஸ் ஈக்வல் டு பிளஸ் ஒன் பிளஸ் டூ அண்ட் பிளஸ் ஒன் ஸோ எக்ஸ் ஈக்வல் டு பிளஸ் த்ரீ ஸோ கோபால்ட் இஸ் பிளஸ் த்ரீ ஆக்சிடேஷன் ஸ்டேட் கரெக்ட் ஸோ வென் த பிளஸ் த்ரீ ஆக்சிடேஷன் ஸ்டேட் மீன்ஸ் கேண்டியம் டைட்டேனியம் மெனேடியம் கோபால் Uh, scandium titanium vanadium chromium manganese iron copal so 27 is the atomic number for copal argon 3d7 4s2 it become copal 3 plus it's a copal 3 plus 3 plus means two electron plus argon 3d6 so you have d orbital 1 2 3 4 and s orbital 4s orbital and 4p orbital 1 2 3 4 5 correct you have four uh, and i've just because you have chlorine and uh, nh3 so it involved it's a weak ion now sir but nh3 is strong no sir so we NH3 வந்து சயனைட் கோபால்ட் அளவுக்கு ஸ்ட்ராங் கிடையாது ஸ்பெக்ட்ரோ கெமிக்கல் சீரிஸ்ல NH3 எங்க வருது பாரு சார் இட் இஸ் லிட்டில் லெஸ் இட் will not pair சார் انا சார் انا சயனைட் இங்க இல்லவே இல்லையே கம்பேர் பண்ணா இல்ல 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 சொல்றேன் நான் உங்களுக்கு இங்க பாருங்க இதல வரும்போது அமோனியம் இருக்க அயோடின் இந்த இடத்துல அமோனியம் இருக்கு நைட்ரோ சயனோ பேர் பண்ற அளவுக்கு இருக்காது சோ அதனால சார் நைட்ரஜன் குரூப் இஸ் தேர் நைட்ரஜன் குரூப் இஸ் பேரிங் will take place இரு இரு இல்ல இல்ல நான் லிகாண்ட பத்தி சொல்லிங்க இருக்கு பா நான் இன்னும் ஃபுல்லா முடிக்கல என்ன ஹைபிரிட் ஸ்டேஷன் வரும்னு ஓகே சோ ஏ கோபால் சயனைட் நைட்ரோ ஓகே சோ when you are complete uh, seeing that ligand இங்க இதானே Uh, when you are seeing the ligand no2 minus is a strong ligand okay cl minus is a weak ligand so it won't it, it won't pair whereas ns3 is the moderate ligand it also won't pair whereas NO2 is a strong ligand. It will take pairing. So, what do you think? 3D6, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, two orbitals. Then, you have D2, SP3 hybridization. Sir, so, I have a doubt. A is correct. Oh, ah, yes. Sir, if you have only NH3, then pairing will take place, right? No. No. வராது Yes, sir, that complex. That complex only, it takes place. Uh, that, that is also not because of ammonia. It has some other reason. Okay? That's why if you have taken that uh, nickel tetramine or uh, cobalt uh, hexamine complex, if you take, 
it will be a weak ligand so the pairing effort takes place irukku nu kettingna when the ligand having the pi star capacity adavadhu it has to back bonding edhuk adhigama irukumo that only will take the that only will pair the electron ipo endra no2 minus irukku liya the no2 minus will have the anti bonding orbital that anti bonding orbital will uh, take the metal electrons back bonding so it is not possible in the case of ammonia chloride idella vand sigma donors so the pi acceptor ligand only will take up the uh, extra electron of your metal so it will do the pair pairing purida yes sir okay so that is the reason sir, why sir so mm -mm. yes sir so for if um, uh, in case of ammonia pairing will happen only in case of copper or is copper there any only. other uh, metal yes, yes yes you check you check all okay, the complex hmm? but it's a weak ligand well, i said that it's a moderate ligand the spectrochemical series it will it will be in the middle okay so when it goes to that uh, corner So sir but could you tell the reason why only in case of copper uh, it will pair so what is the copper uh, of uh, atomic number sir 29. 29 so you have only how many electrons present if it is copper 2 plus how many electron will be present twenty seven no no you leave that 18 3d 10 4s1 it's a electronic configuration of your copper uh, seven electrons so 3d 10 4s1 for the copper what is the copper uh, uh, electronic configuration 3d 10 4s1 am i right yes, a 3d sir. 9 sir yes sir then if you are losing the electron it becomes 3d 9 so when the copper uh the, when the ligand approach it means it split into t2g and eg correct crystal field uh, separation yes sir so when you are having in the eg orbital you have the unsymmetrical electron one one present so when you are filling that electron for the copper t2g and eg so t2g6 eg3 T2G6 means all the six electron will be filled. EG2 means so one pairing, one unpaired. So this unpaired electron will compress the complex. Okay, so it will go to the next uh, oxidized one. So in the other orbital, we will take the packet to the end of 4s, 4b, 4d. Okay, wow. that is the reason why idu enna solluvaanga nu kettingna uh uh asymmetrical filling of uh, zero spill filled like enna perada sir idave cobalt ku inda cobalt ku edha cobalt la vandu varadha illa So unsymmetrical electron present in the EG orbital will cause uh, one splitting. Just a minute, I will recall and tell you. Sorry, at the end I will tell you. Okay. So when I recalling, I will tell the name of the splitting. So when the odd electron present in the EG will cause the splitting more splitting. Okay, wow. Are they not even getting now? It will go from the octahedral into tetragonal geometry. So you are expecting that that splitting will be in the octahedral? No, it will go to the tetrahedral uh, changes. And the changes where when the 
again will be a further time. Okay, okay, then I will tell you. Hmm? Okay. Next question. What will occur if a block of copper metal dropped into beaker containing one mole of zinc sulfate? What is that? So no reaction. Uh -huh. So can you tell the answer? Oh, sir, if you're speaking, we are not able to hear you. Just a minute, ma'am. John Teller discussion. Yes. It's a John Teller discussion. So when the copper become so you are expecting copper will have the octahedral T2G6 and EG EG3. So you have one unsymmetrical electron present in the EG orbital. It undergo tetragonal discussion. That means if you are having tetrahedral geometry, this Z axis will be pushed or it will be elongated. That is the reason why the electron will be shifted. Okay. For the copper. The next question. Could you hear my voice? Yes, sir. Okay. And the next question. What will if you have? So no reaction will occur. Why no reaction will occur? Copper is less reactive than zinc. When, uh, when zinc sulfate plus copper, no reaction. Whereas copper sulfate plus zinc, it will give zinc sulfate plus copper. Zinc is more reactive than copper. Sir, in previous question, could you explain again what you told in last? Okay, I will tell you, ma. So I said no for the ammonia. It will be for the copper only, it will be ammonia acting as a strong ligand, right? Yes, sir. Why? Because when the copper become copper 2 plus, copper become copper means 3D10, 4S1. Okay. So when it becomes Cu2 plus, it becomes 3D9. So the 3D9 will be split into T2G6 and EG3. You have only one unsymmetrical EG electron present. Okay, so if the if if the EG two means the two electron will be split like this, correct? Three you have only one unpaired electron. So this only one unpaired electron will undergo John John Teller distortion. John Teller, are they pronounced by John Teller distortion? So long. So the distortion will occur. This octahedral geometry, it undergo tetra, tetragonal geometry. So, in Aguna, the Z axis, the Z axis will be pushed in or pushed out. 
either shorten or elongation so shortening of the bond or elongation of the bond will take place that's the reason why copper only shows uh, that the ammonia will be the strong link okay understood sir next so in the reactions we have organic reaction irukiradhu polam idhula edavadhu venuma question sir problems matta work out pannalama so 19th so what is it 18 and 19 can you tell huh அமால்கம் as a anode and then cathode is a paste of cathode is a paste of mercury oxide and carbon so at anode at anode what will happen zinc amalgam will be present it undergo zinc oxide plus water and two electrons it becomes solid okay at cathode what will happen that mercury oxide solid when you are having water water plus two electrons whatever released in your uh, two electron it become hg liquid plus Two OH minus. So when you are considering the overall reaction, sorry. When you are considering the overall reaction, is it an HG plus HGO? It gives is it an oxide plus HG liquid? That's all. This will be the overall reaction. Okay. So voltage of uh, the cell will be yes, sir. one one point three five volt approximately. The next question. Okay. In a reaction, mm -hmm. if the concentration of the reactant A is tripled, mm -hmm. the re rate of beca reaction becomes. Ah mm -hmm. uh, yes. Sir, I have a doubt. Wow. Oh. Sir, ah, uh, what is what is the voltage of ah uh, Leclerc cell? Overall voltage. what what is the voltage of uh, leclanchy cell is it 1.5 we are asking leclanchy cell Yes, sir. I think so. We'll check. Ah, huh? the clutches element think. Uh... One point five volt only. It becomes one point three five. Okay. Okay. Like that, it just becomes one point five only. Pa. Okay. So then, if the reactions reactant is triple, the rate of reaction becomes twenty seven times. So generally, I will write the rate rate. That's equal to k into a power some x. I've done it. Chikla. So what they are saying? Twenty-seven percent is the rate. 
के इंटू थ्री ए पकम एक्स सो यू हैव द इक्वेशन वन एंड यू हैव द इक्वेशन टू सो टू बाई वन देन इट बिकम ट्वेंटी सेवन रेट डिवाइडेड बाई रेट इट बिकम के इंटू थ्री ए पवर एक्स divided by k into a power x it will be cancelled out so this will be cancelled 3 power red red cancel so then what you will get 27 into 3 power alpha 3 power x 3 power x means rise no so when you have yes, 27 3 power x then x would be 3 3 so 3 3s are the 27 3 into 3 into 3 so that is the answer then why do transition metal have shows variable oxidation state because you have ns orbital and n minus 1 d orbital so it has a very different uh, energy so the excitation state can takes place very easily so uh, it can ns electron can also take part in the bonding so it can exhibit lower oxidation state and n minus 1 d orbital along with ns electron what is with bonding it exhibit the higher so only ns means low oxidation state and ns and n minus 1 d orbital means shows higher oxidation state that's all. that is the reason and then why do liquid ammonia bottle first cooled in ice before opening it so at room temperature vapor pressure of ammonia is more is very high on cooling vapor pressure so on cooling vapor pressure decreases that is the reason why we are cooling and then opening hmm. yes yes sir um according to henry's formula like kh is uh, directly proportional to temperature so on the um according to henry's formula henry's law sorry uh, kh is directly proportional to temperature so decreasing temperature uh, decreases kh right so and uh, that's why if a uh, kh decreases the mm. solubility increases right sorry okay so here what is the question uh, they were asked so uh, like so if uh, here we need to increase the solubility of uh, liquid ammonia right so that's why no no ma no if we are ammonia bottle first you have to cool why that is the question yeah. when you are have when the bottle containing liquid it will have the vapor, uh, vapor pressure correct so the gas and liquid have the equilibrium so it has to give some space adanal da we will not fill all the liquid uh, till the neck we will give the space so based on the vapor pressure only how much space we have to given we have to decide okay what they are asking when you are opening the ammonia bottle without cooling it splash out why it takes place that is the question so when the room temperature ammonia vapor pressure is more okay when you are uh, cooling that it can decrease the vapor pressures if the vapor pressure decreases it it will not uh, splash out okay that's all sir uh, i have another doubt in this Uh, sir uh, yes. if you want to explain this question in terms of uh, in terms of 
say what is that like um ebulioscopic uh, like that under will come right ebulioscopic constant cryoscopic constant what is cryoscopic i'm not getting your point sir yes sir uh, in terms of that just qualitative properties sir ah yes sir in terms of that uh, can we explain this question so relative lowering of vapor pressure okay this is the qualitative property behind this when the vapor pressure uh, when the lowering of vapor pressure will occur non volatile solute is present non volatile solute is present so now we have the just here the questions uh, when you have the bottle we are having the ammonia solution here and we are leaving the space here the gas and solid gas and solution will have in the equilibrium correct so if it is more vapor pressure you have to give more space So, when you want to lower the vapor pressure, when the lowering of vapor pressure will occur, when when the uh, solute which is a non-volatile solute present, then will be the lowering of vapor pressure will occur. Otherwise, uh, when the mole fraction increases, when you have two solution, then mole fraction increases means the vapor pressure will decreases. Okay. Sir? Yes. Sir, uh, can we explain this question in terms of depression in freezing point? Why free? We have to go for the freezing point. Since uh, cooling is given, uh, so we need to talk in terms of. We do. We don't want to go for the freezing point. Okay. When when you are freezing the mixture, then you have to talk about that. so you have taken the liquid okay you are cooling you are not freezing okay you are changing the temperature that's it you have the liquid which have the boiling point so we are talking about only the vapor pressure with respect to temperature when you are going for freezing point temp freezing point so the freezing point is nothing when you are taken the solid you are melting again it will form the solid what is the temperature different that we are saying as a freezing point okay so we are not at all not monitoring the freezing point how can you explain this in terms of freezing point okay is it clear yes sir so, so we cannot explain that so only thing we can explain Uh, what is the uh, dip, um, relationship between vapor pressure and temperature? That's all we can explain. Other than we cannot explain the uh, the qualitative properties in terms of uh, this question. Okay. And the next question. Account of the following: the boiling point of alcohol decreases with the increase in the branching of alkyl chain. Why? so the branching will have the minimum surface area that is why the boiling point will be 
decreases. Phenol does not give the protonation reaction directly. Why? So the lone pair of electron and the oxygen atoms are delocalized on the benzene ring. That's why it will not give that. So these are the reason you can write. And then so the identify the second one. What what? What is the reason for second subdivision? Phenol does not give protonation reaction directly because when you are taking the phenol. The lone pair of electron on the oxygen atoms are delocalized in the benzene ring, correct? It will be like that. It goes. It goes resonance. Okay. So what is the meaning of protonation when you are having some ROH? So simply you take water. Okay. When you put it in the acid medium, this lone pair can accept the proton. It becomes HO3 H plus. This is called protonation. The phenol, you have the oxygen, which involved in the resonance. So it will not take that protonation. So the protonation reaction, it will not undergo. Okay. okay. Clear? Yes. So this is the reason why it, will, it won't undergo. The next identify the following A, B, not C in the following reaction. So methyl bromide, when you are treated with magnesium, it becomes methyl magnesium bromide. So when you are treated with carbon dioxide, so CH3 minus the MgBr plus, so it will go and attack over this, then you will get CH3 CO O minus, right? And then followed by protonation. Then it will give CH3COOH. So A is methyl magnesium bromide, B is acetic acid. That's all. Okay. Clear? Define oligosaccharide and inverted sugar. So the oligosaccharide is a polymer of small number of sugars. So you can have more number of sugar means it's a polysaccharide, otherwise called oligosaccharide. And invert sugar. So a mixture of uh, equal part of glucose and fructose, what we can take is sucrose. When you are hydrolyzing, sucrose which uh, have the plus sucrose alpha D value, it becomes positive. When you are hydrolyzing, It gives glucose plus fructose. The glucose having positive value, the fructose having negative value. So finally, the, the mixture will be having alpha D value become negative. So that is called inversion of sugar. So this is normal question. What are fuel cells? If, I, if you have the problem that we can work it out. Yes. What is pseudo first order reaction? Give an example. So when you are taking one reactant in excess amount, but that uh, amount will not affect the rate, then the reaction is called pseudo first order reaction. So example, hydrolysis of ethyl acetate in the presence of acid medium, it gives acetic acid and Ethanol. It's a pseudo first order reaction. So the K is equal to 2.303 by T log of A by A minus X. This will be the rate for the pseudo first order reaction. Unit also very same for the first order reaction. And then the rate constant of the given temperature according to the equation. So is nothing when you are having the Arrhenius equation. If you are taking log, you will get the so Ea is the activation energy when you are plotting a graph log k versus 1 by t. So 
1 by t and log k we are getting the straight line with the slope of so when you are liking log k log a minus ea by 2.303 or into 1 by t so it's equal to y is equal to c plus mx so this is the graph you are getting y is equal to mx plus c means in the graph y is equal to mx plus c so it will give the slope it will give the intercept correct so the intercept give the log a value and the slope will give the minus ea by 2.303 so the slope is give minus ea by 2.303 or they are given minus 4250k therefore slope is equal to minus ea by 2.303 or is equal to minus 4250k then the rate is equal to sorry the so the e is equal to minus 2.303 into r into slope Minus two point three not three to eight point three one four into four two five zero. So when you are putting, you are getting the value that will be joules per mole. Um, what is that, uh, sir? Mm. Sir, yes, here the the unit of slope is Kelvin, sir. But time should also come now. A what, second. What? Unit of. I repeat, man. What Suprajit? What you are asking? No, sir. In the slope of the unit, they've given uh, Kelvin, sir. But uh, time should also come now in the numerator, like second Kelvin second. A slope of minus four to five zero Kelvin. Sir, it's fine, sir. You can proceed. So, uh, Kelvin, when you have our value, joule per Kelvin per mole, okay? So this Kelvin, this Kelvin will cancel out. Okay, ma. Now clear. So the R value is equal to eight point three one four joule per Kelvin per mole. So when you are putting that per per Kelvin bin one by K. So K by K it become one. No. So you multiply that. Ah, uh, no, sir. I didn't ask that, sir. I asked in slope. Uh, the, it is given no sir in question minus four two five zero Kelvin. Mm, mm. But slope, if we find uh, you wrote like y equals to mx plus c, and that m mm. is uh, yeah, like the time should also come now, sir. Oh, so just a minute. And like y is equal to mx plus c, I have written. Mm. Sir, according to uh, the graph. Mm. Uh, log k unit that Kelvin is there and uh, mm. that uh, see one by time means oh, if you are oh, second sorry, one sorry. by 30 one by 50 like that okay so you don't uh, sir sorry sir uh, t is temperature sir my I'm sorry ah, yes. sir t is temperature it's not time sorry okay so here one by temperature Temperature, this is the log k value. Okay. If 1 by 30 degree, 1 by 40 degree, 1 by 50 degree, like that only will take. Ah, so, it's correct only, sir. Sorry, tell sir. Me, tell me, tell me. I understood, sir. Yes. 
So in, uh, when you are multiplying, if I multiply, I will get two point three not three into eight point three one four into four two five zero. If I do, I will get eight one three seven five point three joule per mole. Then when you are uh, dividing by ten. 81.3753 kilo joule per mole so this is the ea value energy of activation okay pa so now we yes, will sir. wind up with this the next class we will continue the same okay okay sir so the 28th question will complete and then we will leave benzoic acid to benzaldehyde how you can do that conversion in the benzoic acid treated with thionyl chloride it become benzyl chloride okay so you do the rosman reduction what is the reduction Acid chloride to aldehyde. This is the way by which you can convert acid to aldehyde. So hydrogen, palladium, barium sulfate in quinone. So it can convert first one, and then ethane CH triple bond CH two CH three CH two ethanol aldehyde. So when you take you do the hydration water molecule when you are adding the water molecule in the presence of sulfuric acid and mercury sulfate it will give ch2 double bond choh so or hydrogen ingiyum or hydroxyl ingiyum podringa so when you are doing tautomerization so tautomerization is migration of 13 hydrogen ship it will give the acetaldehyde okay and then acetic acid to methane how can you do that you change into sodium salt ch3 coo na you do that decarboxylation by using sodium hydroxide and calcium oxide then it will convert methane okay so the remaining we will continue in the next class now Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank okay. you, sir. Now I have some other work. Okay, we'll wind up.